Minasan Kanichiwa, welcome to a retro play of Probo Tactor, and this is for the Sega Mega Drive. This is the PAL version of Contra Hardcore. Or Hardcore? Contra Hardcore. Well, whatever, I can't even say the freaking name properly. But yeah, this is the PAL version. Okay, you play robots. A security system has been breached by an unknown. I was trying to read that. An unnamed robot is running rampant throughout the city. I want you to proceed to the area ASAP and restore order. So in the original version it was like military soldiers fighting a load of robots. So yeah. No no fighting galleons, but it was like we got it. but in this one, this is the European power version, it was robots. And I love robots, I absolutely adore robots and max and it's my kind of thing. But yeah, this is one of the first video games I ever played that I think it was like the second I know I think it was like what the second video game or something I ever played. And I'm so Japanese and so robots and I just freaking loved it. However, having said that, this is one of the hardest video games I've ever played. Hands down I actually know this is the hardest video game I've ever played. Because for some reason, how version, I don't know whose idea it was or what ever happened. They didn't give us like three continues or something, they gave us three lives. So if you get hit three times, you're dead and you have to continue. And you have limited continues and checkpoints, limited checkpoints as well. But yeah, it sucks. But yeah, I'm playing this character here, I think it's uh, X1, X2, like they have code names or something. But I love this character here. He's like a robot wolf. With a machine gun arm, it's like so 90s and so it's a freaking kill. I, I love it. I like him. He's my favorite character. But I like the other one. I like the blue one as well. But I prefer playing as this character because uh, it's easier for my eyes. I don't know why. It just is. Plus, I can make out what it is. It's so crazy. They're like bombastic. The graphics are so good. Like for its time, it was really good and flashy and over the top and I was like oh my god so here's the boss and I kind of struggled on this boss at first but it's very simple once you know how to beat it so you just stay right in the middle here and you just shoot at it like this and it can't hurt you it's like the cyclops yeah like flashing warning it's like it's it's kind of crazy this is like crazy video game stuff right here but yeah as you can see it's side scrolling shooter and you just like, it's, it's freaking hard, it is. I actually know how, how many times I have to play this. Okay, you can pick up weapons, you shoot those little things and you get like these weapons there. But I go for the default standard weapon, I just find that easier. It's kind of, because of how difficult this is, because it's just three lives. I haven't got time to look and switch around my weapons. Because one second, like I'm looking at my weapons are it's just it is awful it really is and once you like pick up a weapon you automatically get it and it might not be the right weapon at that time but yeah I just go for the default standard so here we are up against the boss the boss which is um, you can do you can like slide you can go down on the floor and you can slide on the floor as well which is cool like yeah I'm, I'm just kind of struggling with the controls it's been ages since I played this and it's not it's not easy it's not easy to play this game I have three lives God knows why the power version have three lives honestly I prefer the robots to the original I just do that I just like robots that's my kind of thing I love it but um, yeah I am struggling right now I'm trying to remember its pattern yeah, I think, oh, it's kind of looped and glitched there for some reason, which that that's okay, I don't mind. Yeah, this is what, I think this got me into robots in Japan. Like, this is the first game that got me into it. Alright, I'm playing, I'm going to change as this character, uh, CX4. Um, I forgot what his other name is. I can't remember. He's got, they all got like code names or nothing. I like him because he's small and little and he can avoid bullets so he's that small you know that yeah you got frame advantage right there 
so it, it's just easier to play as this character. It is ridiculous, I don't even need to duck or anything, that's how small the thing is. And it kind of makes sense, but each um, character you choose also has a different kind of weapon really as well. So that, that's okay, it has a good incentive to play. And it's like two player co-op as well, so that's that's cool, I like that, I enjoy it. This is best played two player co-op. And it's good, it's good for like a retro game night like, as well, and just you know, if you're into those arcade shooter stuff like I am, so yeah. I love it. This is like the definitive, like Contra is like the definitive side scrolling shooter. Oh, you got Metal Slug, that's cool as well, but yeah, I when I think of side scrolling shooters, I literally think of Contra. So yeah, he's got like some grappling thingy here. And like some weird missile stuff here. I think. It's a weird weapon. You've got one shot and two shot here, which changes something. I think I can use both weapons at the same time, I think. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. I think you can, but for some reason I, I, I haven't got the um, instruction box, so I have no idea exactly what I, how it works. But yeah, I like, I kind of like this weapon here. It's pretty cool. Looks cool. This is like plat there's some platforming stuff in this, and it's a bit. It looks so cool, just dashing into cars. Oh. So like, so metal. It is so metal, hands down. I just can't get over how metal it is. Okay, I'm gonna try and beat the thing. Hopefully it's got like a... Um, I'm ducking because I'm kind of scared. But hopefully this is enough to, This is a good weapon to beat the thing. I think it's got three stages. Because it changes. Which is so cheap. It is. It literally changes its uh, attack pattern. It's got like different forms or something like that. And I just... Uh, that's what it's like. Batland Arcade. I think this is the second form. Oh, go duck, go for the thing. Took down the, uh, the building. Ah, oh, charges as well. I forgot about that. I need to remember. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I totally forgot. You can have iframes once you continue. When you get hit and lose a life, you can have iframes, which is like, that just makes sense like one game that I could mention that doesn't do that. Okay, I lost. I'm, I'm dead. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna have one more go, see if I can do this. Gosh, it is difficult. It is difficult. I'm gonna play as this little guy here. He's, he's the best character in the game, game I think. I, I feel he is. But no. I would love this as a movie, if it's like some cool movie or something, or an anime, I don't know, but as a video game, it's awesome. I love that, um, it's very like Japanese, the whole destruction and the whole... It just looks so cool, and it, yeah, it is very Japanese, the whole thing of it. Like the anti-war stuff, the invasions, and yeah. Just like alien invasions, but I turned it into robots. But it still, it still kind of looks like a robot invasion, alien robots. But what's what's worse than an alien invasion? An alien robot invasion. That's what I think. All right, side clubs, you're dead. You're going down. Look at look at look at this. This blew my mind when I was a kid. I was like, oh my god, it looks awesome. It looks incredible. It looks so cool. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna go for the default weapon. Cause I just feel that's the best. I like, yeah, I like that uh, CX4 has like a little frame for that. Oh yeah, just going straight into it. Yeah, you should my I don't even know what you should my vehicle. I don't know why. I just shot the vehicle. What is that? I don't even know if it was a vehicle or not. Yeah, 
fun fact, I never got past the second level of this game. I always die so many times that I know it's just one of them. It's like if you're going fast, if you're playing the the uh, the hard version of it, where it's just three lives, you you got to um, you got to just dedicate yourself to the game and understand everything about it. I'm like, you know what? I haven't got time. It's that hard. I haven't got time. This is the hardest game I've ever played. This is hands down hard. It's up there with Fury as in, in terms of hard. No, it's even worse than Fury. Like, or Ninja Gaiden, that's, that's freaking hard as well. But yeah, it's... I, I appreciate all the games, but the older I get, I'm like, oh, I haven't got time for, for it. But the older games were good, you know what I mean? They were game you games. What are you? So it's like... Say, hey, hey, why don't you come here and find out? So I just like, this is Dr. Geo Mandic at the research center. So I could go after the alien commander or the the captain maybe. I don't know. What should I go after? Go after the commander? Or rescue the research center. Now that's that's good, you have like little uh choices and those choices decide what um levels you go up to next. So yeah, I've never got past this part. You know, is that just maybe I should manually save it and like you know have like uh, saves come in or something? I could do that with today's technology. I can do that now. See what happens. But yeah, I'm just it's not my dedication to do this. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you for watching and like as soon as I die I'll end it so yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next video sayonara